click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about all the methods of preparation of alcohols and now what we are doing is we are doing the structure of alcohols. Now, now let us understand what is the structure of alcohol. The structure of alcohol is very much similar to that of the water molecule. So let me give an illustration for that. For example, if I talk about methanol. So methanol is the one which has you see, three hydrogen atoms attached to the carbon atom while the rest of is oxygen and this is hydrogen left, as you could see. But this OH group is basically attached to a carbon atom which is nothing but which is sp3 hybridized because as you could see that this carbon is the one that is having a carbon carbon single bond also suppose if it is an ethane but now it is basically forming a carbon hydrogen bond even as well as basically we could see that there are three carbon hydrogen bond and that is how basically it is sp3 hybridized but not only the carbon atom but also this that is oxygen atom is also sp3 hybridized and that is the reason that this carbon atom and this oxygen atom whenever they form a bond they form a sigma bond so therefore the overlapping of the sp3 hybrid orbitals and the oxygen uh, sp3 hybrid orbital so obviously they will overlap in such a manner that is they will form a strong bond that is a sigma bond so that is how basically we can find that is other sigma bonds also between the carbon and the hydrogen over here while here also the sigma bond it will be there so this was related to the bond and now let us come back to the main geometry but before understanding the geometry let me discuss about the few points also that is uh, talking about the oxygen atom obviously oxygen consists of basically two lone pair of electrons so this is what i'm discussing about the two lone pair of electrons let me Measure it with this dot over here. Yes, and talking about the distance between the carbon and this oxygen atom, main functional group of the alcohol. So that is the reason that this distance between that is carbon and oxygen it has been found to be that is 142 picometer. But talking about the distance between this oxygen and this hydrogen, it's actually less, and this is 96 picometer. But as I have said earlier also that is the structure is very much similar to that of the water molecule and that is the reason that being an sp3 hybridized structure or sp3 hybrid carbon atom or sp3 hybrid that is oxygen atom if you would say in that manner so therefore the structure is nothing but tetrahedral so being a tetrahedral molecule obviously then the bond angle should be that is 109 degree 28 minutes but it's been found that is the bond angle between this and this it has been found to be I will write it over here is found to be that is 108.9 degree so which is approximately like that of a tetrahedral geometry that is 109 degree 28 minutes but the reason behind that is the bond angle is lesser compared to that of the original tetrahedral geometry the reason behind that is because of this lone pair of electrons and because of this lone pair of electrons on the oxygen atom obviously therefore there will be a kind of a bond bond repulsion and that is how basically we could find that is so because of this lone pair of electrons on the oxygen atom obviously there will be a repulsion between the lone pair of electrons and the bonding pair and that is how basically the bond angle actually reduces but not too much but a bit so this is what the structure of the alcohol is so talking about the polarity of this molecule this oxygen atom is actually more electronegative and compared to that of the hydrogen which is electropositive so obviously the bond between this oxygen and this hydrogen is basically polar in nature and that is the reason that is we could find that is this oxygen atom and this carbon atom has a distance of that is 142 picometer but meanwhile this oxygen atom and this hydrogen atom has a distance of that is 96 picometer and this makes the alcohol basically polar in nature so this alcohol can also be used as an organic solvent and that is the reason that uh, i have mentioned few points related to the structure of alcohol so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this concept very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much